Welcome to the Friday New Product Post. I'm Nick, standing in for Rob, who's on vacation. And today, we have the RF Duino product line. So let's dive right in and check these out. One of the things that makes the RF Duino product line really nice is that there's a huge amount of documentation on how all of these pieces go together. And there's also a library that's been written for a lot of these shields that require some extra programming. Uh, as well as an iOS app and an Android app. And those things allow you to connect your phone using Bluetooth Low Energy to the RF Duino and control various aspects of the way that they act. For instance, the library comes with some example code for a color selector that affects the RGB LED on the button shield. You just load your color wheel app on either iOS or Android, and then you connect it to your RF Duino you load the color wheel code from the examples folder, and then you can select a color on the color wheel on your cell phone, and the RGB LED will copy that color. And there are a ton of examples just like that that make it very easy to get up and running using Bluetooth Low Energy to connect your RF Duino project to your mobile device. This is the USB programming shield for the RF Duino. This comes in the dev kit, but you can also buy it separately since you can buy the RF Duino module separately as well. And you'll need this if you want to program it using the Arduino environment. Simply uh, plug the RF Duino into this shield and then plug this into the USB port on your computer and it'll be recognized like any other Arduino device and you can program it using the same Arduino code that you would with any other device. This is the AAA battery shield. This gives you a way to power your projects when they're standing alone and they're not hooked up to either the USB or to a benchtop power supply. Just pop a couple of AAA batteries in this and then put your RF Duino module on top of it and you'll have power for your project that's portable. This is the RF Duino Proto Shield. This is just a piece of prototyping board that breaks out all of the pins from these headers so that it's easy to solder new components onto your prototype or to run jumper cables from this out to other devices so that you can control them using your RF Duino. This is the RF Duino micro SD shield and it allows you to plug in a micro SD card and use that as storage. It's great for doing uh, field logging devices where you need to take a lot of data in and then store it somewhere so that it can be retrieved later. This is the RF Duino AAA battery shield. This is the same as the 2X AAA battery shield, except obviously it only takes one battery. It makes your project a little smaller and lighter than the other shield. The downside, of course, is that you don't get quite as much battery life out of it. This is the RF Duino button shield, and it's actually really nice for testing simple programming or for creating a device quickly, uh, as long as you don't need a lot of input or output. This has two buttons on it and a single RGB LED, and that should be enough to get uh, Hello World, Blink Sketch, things like that running. So it's really nice when you're first starting out to have just a simple shield, a couple of buttons and an LED. This is the CR2032 battery shield for the RF Duino. And this allows you to power your project using a coin cell battery. The CR2032 is one of our favorite coin cells. It's fairly common and inexpensive. You're not going to get a lot of battery life out of it, but again, it's small and it's lightweight. This is the RF Duino relay shield, and it allows the RF Duino to control a pair of relays, which in turn can control slightly higher current devices than the I.O. pins on the RF Duino could do by themselves. This is the RF Duino servo shield, and it gives you the ability to hook up to four servos to your RF Duino. There are four servo headers here, and you simply plug the servo in, and then load the library, and you can write a sketch that does animatronics, or radio control, or whatever it is that you want to use servos to accomplish. I'm really excited about how easy the RF Duino makes it to develop applications that use Bluetooth Low Energy. So check out those products in the blog post below, as well as the rest of our new products. And I'll see you again next week for another Friday New Product Post.